What's going on guys? Um, I want to kind of tell you guys a story that happened to me about a week ago. About a week ago. About a week ago. And um, it kind of impacted my life in a positive way. So let's get this story started. Um, I've been reading these books about how to be a positive person and how to accept things, how to appreciate life, how to uh, be nicer to people, how to be a better version of you and how to believe that everything happens for a reason. Naturally, I never believed in that mumbo jumbo, but I started becoming a believer, not just because of this experience, but because of the past couple months and what, just things I started to notice now that I'm learning about myself. Get this story started. I went to go see the Hodge Twin stand-up comedy show that I booked like months ago, um, and I got VIP access for meet and greet. Now the Hodge Twins are these great, funny YouTube video, uh, YouTube YouTubers that, uh, that have like comedy, bodybuilding stuff. They're just really great guys. They're really funny to me. They're entertainers. Um, so I went to go um, book their VIP stand-up comedy show for a meet and greet because I had a gut feeling that something was gonna happen that was gonna benefit me in life. You know what I mean? Like something really good was gonna happen. And for, I was just thinking I was gonna network with them. We're gonna chop it up and everything, you know? Because I got VIP access. So let me start this long ass story. So I went to go take BART, which is an electrical train, to San Francisco by myself. I wanted friends to go with me, but everyone was busy. So I was going to take BART. After BART, I was going to take an Uber to the comedy show because, you know, I didn't bring my car. So I was like, you know, instead of going by myself, let me go Uber carpool. Who knows what I might experience? You know what I mean? I wasn't thinking too much about it. So it was cheaper too, so why not? And so it's only like five bucks. Um, so I'm like, let's do that. So I get in the, they picked me up like literally within a minute because San Francisco has so many Uber drivers. Uh, they went to go pick me up and then there was a, of course, a driver and then an older lady and the older lady's mother. The lady was about 50, the mother was about 70. And so they're just having a great time talking about how they love the Bay Area, but how LA is better, da da da. And I say, oh, hi, just to not make things awkward. So hi, my name's Weiss, da da da. And then, um, actually, I just say hi, I didn't say my name yet. And then so eventually they're talking, talking, and then they eventually say, hey, what's your name? So, oh, hi, my name's Weiss. And I went to go shake their hand, and I went, the daughter's name was Tina, and then her mother just introduced herself as Tina's mother. So she goes, oh, so like, what do you do, Weiss? And I was like, well, and they were talking about how LA was great. I said, I eventually want to move to LA. Funny thing you guys were talking about, I want to move to LA, and I want to pursue my YouTube, uh, YouTube career there, you know? Um, because in, I believe it's a better environment than here in the Bay Area, and I think I would just gain more experience over there and so she goes oh no way you know i know a celebrity trainer right and i'm like oh no way i'm kind of not thinking too much about it right kind of questioning it and she goes yeah you know what you should do you should talk to him and i said what like are you serious he goes yeah she, uh he trains ellen degeneres all these other celebrities i don't remember their name and i was like oh okay that's cool she goes yeah tell him you met tina and her mother from the bay area that but they're from la but say you met them at the bay area and I was like, okay, not really thinking too much, right? It's like, not that these girls were crazy, but like, I just didn't think that they could plug it like that. So not thinking too much, I put down his name and stuff like that. I searched him on Instagram and he has like 30,000 followers and barely any following, right? So then I like just keep it saved there and I'm just talking to him about, um, you know, YouTube and stuff. And they said, yeah, you can learn a lot from this guy. Some wonderful things about this guy. He's knowledgeable, he started from ground zero, all that stuff. Um, and then eventually, like, we're just talking about how beautiful San Diego is, and we're just talking about some random stuff. And then I was like, you know what? Like, in my head, I was like, I was thinking they are crazy, but you know what? I thanked them and said, you know what? Thank you for even being nice enough to try to, um, hook, uh, to connect me with this person that you didn't even need to do that. You know what I mean? And so, and she was like, oh, no problem. And it was time for her stop and her mother. And so eventually she goes, and it's kind of like the movies when someone says something like, like very, not motivational, but very important. And they say it and eventually they kind of drift off and disappear. She eventually just stop. And then, and then she goes, and I'm like, hey, thanks. You know what I mean? I, I believe in everything happens for a reason. I told her that I'm reading these books. And I told her I'm reading these books that, you know, they're saying like, you should be nice to people. Um, and thank you for being nice to me. I'm going to be nice to other people as well. And it help, you're motivating me. She goes, she laughs and says, before she closes the door, you never know where Uber conversation will go. And I swear to you, she disappears. I'm sure she really didn't disappear. I just didn't pay attention to her leaving. But it was, in, in a way, it felt like she disappeared, you know? 
So on the way going to the comedy sh uh, show, because it was my stop in about 10 minutes after that, I go on his IG and email him this heartfelt email saying like, uh, you know, I appreciate, um, I appreciate his uh, effort into starting from the bottom and how far he got and I would love to learn from him. And I said, I met Tina and her mother and they told me to come to you. And I said, hey, even if you don't, it's all good. I just appreciate the time that you took to even read this email if you do. It was being very nice in the email. So um, I, I sent that email on his IG and then I get to the comedy show um, about an hour early. So, cause I wanted VIP, I wanted front row tickets or front row seats. So I, I'm hell excited about this. I'm thinking I'm gonna chop it up with the Hodge twins and everything like that. And then um, about an uh, hour before, I'm just I'm literally just messing on IG, posting on Snapchat, doing all this random stuff to kill uh, kill the clock until the show. Five minutes before the show started, I uh, get a follow from this IG, this celebrity fitness trainer, and I'm tripping out because he barely follows anyone. He has hell of followers. I'm like, dude, he read my email. Like he read my email. There's no way he would just randomly follow someone that followed him. It, did, it just you can tell it wasn't like that. And I'm really I was really excited. This happened less than a week ago, but and, and but that's it. He just followed me, and I was ecstatic. I was tweeting like everything happens for a reason. I'm going crazy, right? So then I put that aside because now it's time for the Hodge twins. It was a wonderful show, and it was amazing. I'm just the whole time I was distracted by listening to them because I was kind of thinking about what am I going to say to him at the end? I got VIP. I'm juiced. It's time to go, uh, they finished and said, oh, I need 15 minutes to let us eat real quick and then we're gonna go take pictures with you guys, da, da, da. I'm thinking we're all gonna go backstage and chop it up for five minutes, like, that's plenty of time. I realized that there's like over 100 VIPs and then realized that you only have a 10 second window to shake their hand and take a picture, and that's it. So I, I thought to myself, that sucks, but whatever. Whatever I'm gonna say, I have to say it very quickly within 10 seconds. So I said, okay, I know what to do, I know what to say. And I'm thinking of an amazing response from them that's gonna motivate me throughout my life and YouTube. I'm like hyping up this whole, it's going a thousand different scenarios are going in my head. So I go uh, up to them and instead of shaking their hand like everyone else, I went to go, you know, hug them, you know, like they were my homies, you know what I mean? And they're like, oh, hi, what's your name? I'm like, Weiss. And then I'm like, it wouldn't go time to take a picture. So the security guard takes your camera and takes just one picture on your phone, just one picture and you gotta leave. You can't do any redos. So as I'm putting my arms around them, uh, they're like, I said, so what would you tell a YouTuber that just started his fitness channel and uh, has 69 subscribers? What, would, what could you say to motivate me? And I told them I want some real ass shit. And they looked, one of them looked at me and said, shit. He didn't actually didn't even look at me. He said, shit, I started from 69 subscribers too. And that was it. Eventually, I, then I bought a shirt and then left. Understand that I did not think about that short response. I thought it was gonna be way more heartfelt, you know? Not that they did a bad job or they were mean. No, they did their job and it was great. Like, they were really nice. In a way, it could be motivating me, but I just wanted a more of a connection. And then it's, it, and I got hurt, and then it snapped, and like, it just, it's crazy that I realized something. Just because they're important to me doesn't mean I'm important to them. Yeah, as a fan, I'm important to them, but do they know me? Do they remember me? Do they know my life? They don't know my name. They don't remember anything. I'm not that important to them. And then I realized something, you can't force to be in someone's life. And then I thought about all this attention I'm giving them in my head about all this like extra energy, not just regular energy like, uh, oh, I like them. You can like whoever you want, all these celebrities, you can like them. But when you become super uh, fanatic about them, even with me and LeBron, I'm a super, God knows how many arguments I got defending him, right? All these arguments I realized, all that energy I should have put into the people who appreciate me and into myself. Because all that other energy I'm going, like, does LeBron even know how many times I defended him? He, no. He does, he's not going to know me. If LeBron said something like that, where it was, like, really quick, I'd, I'd be like, what? Like, I did so much to defend you and all these things. And, but, and then I, I can't get mad because I'm not important to these people. There's a billion people like me that just love, okay. there's millions of people that are fans of these people that think just like me and they want that personal relationship with them, but it just it doesn't work like that. It's not how it happens. And I realized I gotta put that extra energy into the people who care about me and myself so I can become a better person. Now what's crazy was who would have known, now let's go back to the beginning, who would have known that I would have got so much more satisfaction and so much more fulfillment off the Uber drive going to the comedy show than to actually, than the response of the Hodge twins. I thought it was gonna be vice versa but it wasn't and it goes to show that everything happens for a reason and that 
there could have been another carpool ride I could have took that would have never happened uh, about a connection about me getting this guy to follow me. Why was it this Uber uh, carpool? By the way, I, like I said before, I don't know if I said it or not, this was the first time they Uber carpooled out of the, how, how many, they said they Ubered a thousand times. This was the first time they carpooled. And it was with me, if I brought a friend, we couldn't get in that car because there's only one seat available. How many things that had to play that that car was just for me? How many scenarios had to play out that in a way the world kind of gave to me that there, there was a doubt, there were so many car Uber drivers out there. I saw on the map, why this car? And I believe that everything happens for a reason. I got so much more satis um I was way more satisfied just off that driver and not driver, uh, the people in that car and how nice they were to me. They didn't have to help me out, but they did. And again, I believe that if you bring positivity to this world, it'll come back to you. And it shows that I, just because I thought that this, I was going to have this crazy relationship with the Hodge twins and they were going to network with me. For some reason, I thought big of myself that we're going to have this strong connection. It wasn't even like that. It was from the Uber drive going there that this person, this uh, fitness trainer follows me now. And who knows where that would go? I actually kind of want to contact him later this week. I want to give him some time because I don't know if he, why he follows me, but I don't want to think too much about it. Who, who cares? I appreciate the fact that he's following me though. And then I just, just appreciating the people who care about you and don't worry about, don't think too much in, about the people that you fantasize over because it just goes to show that because I thought that we had a great relationship for no reason to the Oshwins. And if you're a fan of someone like LeBron or Kobe or any of these players, like any, any celebrity, just because you think you have a great relationship doesn't mean you really have a great relationship. And you can apply this without with life, you know, with anything. So if you're going to take back one thing from this whole thing is be a great person, be a nice person, be helpful. If you bring positive energy into the world, it's going to come back to you. And I firmly believe in that because that girl helped me out. I want to help someone else out too. If they, if they need help, you know, and, I, and I'm an Uber driver, I'm walking around or something like that and they need something. I'll just go out of my way and help them because that motivated me. That positivity brought more positivity. So thank you guys so much for listening to the story. It's just crazy how things work. It's crazy how the story switched and I'm never going to forget that experience. You know, the Uber driver benefited me more than going to the Hodge Twins. I did learn one thing though from the Hodge Twins and that's what I just told you guys that don't overthink situations and don't and appreciate your loved ones, friends, family, even acquaintances, and, and focus all that extra time and, and that you care about all these things that don't matter, put it in yourself, invest in yourself. You're your own stock. You want to be rich. You don't want to be worthless and go down in stock. You know what I mean? So thank you guys so much for watching. This is Wise Guy, and uh, it's a crazy ass story. At, at least it was for me. And if you're gonna, if one of, the, uh, one of you guys is gonna benefit from this video, that's all that matters to me. I don't care about the views. I don't care about um, you guys thinking this is boring. I just needed to reach one person. And if, you, if that one person, if you get motivated, let me know in the comments. I appreciate that. I would love to talk to you guys. Thank you guys so much. See you later.